when you talk of environmental challenges for a country like Bhutan, which is uh, situated in the mountainous region, fragile ecosystem, we definitely face a lot of environmental challenges. One of them being, of course, now the global climate change. Uh, countries like ours is badly impacted. A lot of glaciers sitting above us, which are melting much faster than expected. And then also issues like uh, loss of biodiversity, then water scarcity something I think that we all can relate to very well here in the urban region as well as when we go back to our village a lot of areas drying up so these are all uh, some of the challenges that we face and of course urbanization coming up with the urbanization is uh, consumption patterns changing a lot of garbage being produced how we handle the waste management so these are some of the uh, challenges that we I believe we face in the country uh, Bhutan is a mountainous country so in the mountainous country, we have a very steep terrain, steep slopes. Land degradation is a huge challenge because there is a lot of uh, forest degradation and there is also a lot of forest fire and this all contributes to uh, the land degradation. These are the few challenges that we face in Bhutan. Tetaro, <laughs> Tawa <laughs> ตะตาวะตะฉิดิเตนะมะสะมะลับกบินดุงะจิกิเตนะมิสะมะตอเฉตะเบระจิโซตะตีนาติญีเรตุจุญีเบรตุเตตาติเนโลกะชิลุงะ
Uh, we have programs that directly contribute to land restoration, the plantation that we do in the country. Uh, second is the seeding productions that we uh, produce in different nurseries. And third is the management of the recreational parks. Uh, we do manage few recreational parks in the country. This all contributes to restoring the land. The message, uh, of course, if I had the authority and the power, I would like to make every individual <laughs> environmentalist. But having said that, I think it is not difficult. My message is basically we all uh, we all part of this world, part of this nature. And uh, if we can keep uh, cultivating good habits, good practices that can be uh, less hurtful to planet Earth, I think that would be very nice. So basically, we need to change the habits, try to reuse things. Uh, and a very simple thing is when you go shopping, please try to avoid taking plastics. So if you can practice that, I think that would mean a lot.